So bringing yourself down into a lunge, not too long, as you want to try and stretch through both front and back legs here, drawing the tailbone under, drawing the core back, pushing down into that front foot while stretching out through the back foot, and maybe coming into a twist on each side if that feels good, maybe reaching that back arm behind, or you can keep hand on hip if you'd rather, just stretching out through the lower back, the outside of the hip a little more. And then perhaps placing some padding under your knee or going nearer to a wall or finding a strap if you're unable to find your foot, trying to bend that back foot up, trying to draw it close to the bottom, maybe just holding with one arm or if you can bring both round it activates a really great stretch across the chest as well. And then slowly releasing that back foot and shifting yourself up into pyramid pose, so lifting the hips and trying to straighten through that front leg, maybe rocking onto the heel if you can. If this isn't available to you, up um, with both legs lifted, you can come down onto that back knee and just try and find length through that front leg, making sure not to let the hips sway to one side too much. Try to roll up onto the heel if you can to really stretch out through the hamstring. Find a little forward fold with a wiggle maybe in the middle before you switch over to the other side bringing yourself down into that runner's lunge, finding that height, drawing the belly back, drawing the tailbone under, stretching through both feet, finding a twist if you like. Thanks dog. I love that blanket. And you can press that back foot against a wall if you need struggle with the balance um, or if it just feels better and coming into that deeper stretch and then shifting yourself down into that kneeling pyramid or if you're able to bringing yourself up and just shifting your body weight forward if your arms don't touch the floor here you could use a counter you could use blocks if you have them or a chair and just flexing up onto the heel really trying to activate that hamstring forward fold again and from here this time reaching the arms behind you and interlacing the hands together and just letting gravity draw those arms forwards really stretching across the chest stretching out through the shoulders and also stretching out through the backs of the legs gently here with gravity assisting and releasing those arms bringing yourself down onto the floor. We'll just come into reclined pigeon here, so bringing one foot up onto the other knee, and then lifting the foot off the floor, wrapping the hand behind the thighs, and either keeping the leg bent, or you can extend it if it feels better, just asking that leg with the bent knee, asking that hip to open a little bit more, also stretching the hamstrings of both legs here. Gently unwrap the legs, place the feet down and do the same on the other side. And if you can't find your hands behind your thighs, you can use a strap. You may find it's intense enough for you, particularly if you've done a long run or if you're new to running, to keep the foot on the floor. And then we're going to come into a twist. So finding that position again with one foot up on the other knee. And then just let yourself fall across to the opposite side, finding a gentle twist through the lower back. Keeping the shoulders heavy and just breathing space into the hips and finding the same shape on the other side. All of these poses can be held for as long as you like. I recommend no less than five breaths, but there really is no maximum. And then we'll just finish with a little bit of an inversion. So maybe just waterfall, just trying to elevate the legs above the hips. Or maybe you come up into a shoulder stand. You could keep the knees bent if you like, or you can extend out through the legs. And instead of your hands for support here, you could use blocks or a bolster, or you could do this against a wall, but just let those legs drain out. Get rid of all that lactic acid. And gently, carefully bringing yourself down and going to have a nice shower.